Thanks for clicking on my video. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button so that you can get more great content such as this one. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman. Today, I want to show you how you can manipulate the number of CPU threads that a multi-thread application, such as uh, the Atlas uh, work units from the LHC project uh, behave and use. So, I have LHC at home already attached. I'm doing a uh, six tracks working right now. I will not be able to demonstrate this today because the LHC project is telling me that there's no Atlas work units currently available. However, I want to show you the options that you have from the project. So if you go to your project homepage, uh, log in, go to, to the LHC at home pro uh, preferences, you can set different profiles. I've got one set for only receiving Atlas simulation. And down here, you can actually limit the number of CPU threads that the application uses by selecting anywhere from one to eight. Now they've restricted it up to eight. Um, they may change that in the future, um, but by default it's set to no limit. Uh, if you wanted to use say three of your four CPU threads, you could change that to three, two, one, whatever. In this case, this laptop only has four CPU threads. So setting it above four is not going to do any good but setting it below four will restrict the number of CPU threads that Atlas tries to use by default. Um, if that doesn't work out for you, say uh, you want a little bit more control over how things work with that and force it without setting profiles, uh, some people will switch their computers between profiles based on uh, different team challenges and stuff like that and they don't want to um, muck with each of the profiles having limits on that, but they want specific PCs only to be restricted. Um, they can use what's called an app config file. Um, using the app config file gives you a little more control per system instead of uh, per profile or per project. And so I have an example one here for Atlas already made up. Um, you can copy the same information and utilize it. I have a little note down here based on the memory uh, needed for the Atlas uh, work units. Usually they want about 1.3 gig of RAM plus an additional gig for every CPU thread that you dedicate to the, the work unit. Um, I tend to set a memory size of 4.8 gigabyte per work unit just because sometimes they will send out work that wants a little bit more than what this uh, standardized formula um, accounts for. And so this gives a little bit more for the overhead. But I uh, have this one designated for one CPU thread. So if I was to save this app config into my project folder, um, all Atlas work units that I download should only use one CPU thread. So how you do that, just copy the same text and then go to file, save as. I use notepad because it doesn't add a lot of the extra formatting that you can't see. Um, it tends to have a lot less problems. So you'd wanna to go to your C drive, program data, program data is a hidden folder. Go to boink, projects, LHC at home. And then from here, you wanna do your drop down because we don't want it saved as a text file. So switch to all files. Name it your app underscore config dot XML. As you said, I don't have one in here yet and hit save. So now I've got that file saved in that directory. And I ha can either go to options, read config files, or I can just close Boink altogether, give it a few seconds to make sure that all applications are no longer running in the background and then launch Boink again. And that guarantees that Boink is reading all your config files. Now, while it's loading up here, I'm gonna to go to the event log and you're gonna see an error thrown from it because I don't currently have all the Atlas applications downloaded to the system. Being there was nothing available, it didn't download it. So I only have the six track and the, the theory files necessary. Um, as long as work's coming, you shouldn't get this read. So um, 
once I do have work units coming in, it should limit them to just one CPU thread and it will also limit it to 4.8 gigabyte total uh, for the work unit. Also, my app config that I was showing on there also restricted to only running one LHC Atlas work unit at any given time. I do that because I don't want to overcommit the system's uh, memory and I don't want to fight and conflict with some of the other projects I run. Now, you can do this with other multi-threaded applications at different projects. Uh, you'd have to visit their site to see if there's any problems with it. Give it a go. Um, this gives you a lot more control over how the work units use your system. Um, like I said, there are several reasons to do it. Uh, some of them have to do with challenges, some of them have to do with specific systems not handling uh, certain work units very well. Sometimes it's a, an I.O. effect on the hard drive where you only want one work unit going, but um, you need the extra threads for other things, or it, there's a lot of different reasons. Um, if the application is running in the background, sometimes you won't notice, but sometimes if it's using all your CPU threads, it'll interfere with what you got going. If you're a gamer, that is a, a big issue because um, the work units could pretty well take over your system. So that's pretty much all the, the stuff you gotta worry about. Um, if you have any questions on it, please feel free to leave those in the comments section, uh, share the video, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And then uh, if you want more videos such as this, to come into your feed, make sure you hit that bell button as well. So until next time, have a good one.